Hi and welcome back. So a study published in the American Heart Association's journal Circulation has shown that a diet that had moderate calorie restriction yielded better results than a diet that either had no calorie restriction or an extreme version of calorie restriction. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was published by the American Heart Association where they report on a calorie restricted diet study that was conducted in older obese adults by the Wake Forest School of Medicine in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And there's a link in the description below to the study report I used to put this presentation together. In this latest study, cutting only 250 calories a day whilst conducting moderate exercise reaped much larger rewards than exercise alone. This was the case for a group of older, obese adults. Among older adults with obesity, combining aerobic exercise with a moderate reduction in daily calories resulted in greater improvements in aortic stiffness. Aortic stiffness is a measure of vascular health, which impacts cardiovascular disease. This was compared to an exercise only and to an exercise plus a more restrictive diet group. This is according to new research published by the American Heart Association's flagship journal, Circulation. Modifiable lifestyle factors such as a healthy diet and regular physical activity may help offset age-related increases in aortic stiffness. Although aerobic exercise generally has favorable effects on aortic stiffness, structure and function, Previous studies have shown that exercise alone may not be sufficient to improve aortic stiffness in older adults who have obesity. So far, nothing here, in my humble opinion, is groundbreaking information. We all know that regular physical activity has a marked effect on people's quality of life, their health span, and maybe even their lifespan. People's motivation to get up and exercise may well wax and wane. This is completely normal. The issue here is attitude. Personal discipline lets some individuals down every time. Listening to that little voice in their head that says, it's raining, no need to run today, or you've had a long day, you've earned a day off from the gym. This is indicative of poor self-discipline. Whether it be exercise or nutrition or sleep, it's a self-destructive element that needs to be trained out and replaced with more positive habits. Tina E. Brinkley, PhD, lead author of the study and associate professor of gerontology and geriatric medicine at the Wake Forest School of Medicine in North Carolina said, this is the first study to assess the effects of aerobic exercise training with and without reducing calories on aortic stiffness, which was measured via a cardiovascular magnetic resonance imaging machine known as CMR to obtain detailed images of the aorta. We sought to determine whether adding caloric restriction for weight loss would lead to greater improvements in vascular health compared to aerobic exercise alone in older adults with obesity. This was a randomized control trial whose cohort consisted of 160 sedentary adults aged between 65 and 79 years of age. All of them were classed as obese, which meant their BMI was between 30 and 34.9. The average age of the participants was 69 with 74% of the cohort being female and 73% of the cohort were Caucasian. Participants were randomly assigned to one of three intervention groups for a period of 20 weeks. Group one, this group partook in moderate exercise only and maintained their regular diet throughout the 20 weeks. Group two, this group also partook in moderate exercise but also had a diet that was moderately calorie restricted. The reduction was approximately 250 calories a day less than normal. Then group three, this group also partook in moderate exercise, but this group had a far more intensive calorie restricted diet. In this group, the calorie restriction was approximately 600 calories a day less than normal. The two calorie restricted groups, that was group one and group two, received pre-made lunches and dinners 
with less than 30% of calories from fat and at least 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of their ideal body weight. The meals were prepared under the direction of a registered dietitian for the duration of the study. The participants made their own breakfast according to the study approved menu. Everyone in the study received supervised aerobic exercise training four days a week for the duration of the 20 week study at the Geriatric Research Centre at the Wake Forest School of Medicine. The exercise regime for all three groups was as follows. Exercise on a treadmill four days a week for 30 minutes and this was at 65 to 70 percent of their heart rate reserve or the HRR. Your heart rate reserve is your maximum heart rate minus your resting heart rate. So if you're 40 years old, your maximum heart rate is 180. You would then subtract your resting heart rate. We'll say 80 in this example. This sets your HRR or your heart rate reserve at 100 beats per minute. The structure and the function of the aorta were assessed with cardiovascular magnetic resonance imaging to measure the aortic arch pulse wave velocity or PWV. PWV shows the speed at which blood travels through the aorta and distensibility, this being the ability of the aorta to expand and contract. Higher PWV values and lower distensibility values indicate a stiffer aorta. Let's take a look at the general results at the end of the 20 weeks. The general results showed weight loss of nearly 10% of total body weight or about 20 pounds. This was over the five month study period and was associated with significant improvements in aortic stiffness. But this was only seen in the participants assigned to the exercise plus moderate calorie restriction group. If you remember, this was group number two. Additional findings included the exercise plus moderate calorie restriction group, that was group number two, had a 21% increase in distensibility and an 8% decrease in PWV. None of the aortic stiffness measurements changed significantly in the exercise only group, and that was group number one, or the exercise plus more intensive calorie restriction group, which was group number three. Changes in BMI, total fat mass, percentage body fat, abdominal fat and waist circumference were greater in both of the calorie restricted groups compared to the exercise only group. So this is the plus for both types of calorie restriction. Again, not really earth shattering news. However, what was interesting was that the weight loss was similar between the two calorie restricted groups. That's two and three, despite nearly two times fewer calories in group three the intensive calorie restriction group. This equates to a 26.7 reduction in calories for group three versus only a 14.2 reduction in calories for group number two. Professor Brinkley, the lead author stated, our findings indicate that lifestyle changes designed to increase aerobic activity and moderately decrease daily calorie intake may help to reduce aortic stiffness and improve overall vascular health. However, we were surprised to find that the group that reduced their calorie intake the most did not have any improvements in aortic stiffness, even though they had similar decreases in body weight and blood pressure as the participants with moderate calorie restriction. Professor Brinkley closed by saying, these results suggest that combining exercise with modest calorie restriction as opposed to more intensive calorie restriction or no calorie restriction likely maximizes the benefits of vascular health while also optimizing weight loss and improvements in body composition and body fat distribution. The finding that higher intensity calorie restriction may not be necessary or advised has important implications for weight loss recommendations to improve cardiovascular disease in older adults with obesity. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I think one of the key takeaways is the changes in BMI, fat mass, body fat percentage, total uh, waist circumference and abdominal fat, both highest in the groups that actually did cut their calories, although it was group two 
with only the 250 calories per day that seem to get the better results. So that's probably easier to achieve than the 26.7 that group three had to do uh, and their results weren't as good. I think the main point I want to emphasize here is that part of this protocol, and I think is a key part, was the 30 minutes exercise, four days a week for the whole 20 weeks. And that was at the heart rate reserve. So when we talked earlier about, or I talked earlier about motivation versus attitude, you may be motivated to cut your calories by 250 per day. That might seem quite easy. Will you have the attitude to exercise 30 minutes a day, four days a week for the 20 weeks of this study, and then continue that beyond to maintain whatever gains you actually make.